Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please, I'm begging you. I'm literally, where am I gonna put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please, please. He can't do that! Get off my stuff! What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? Get out. Oh, that poor house. You're under arrest. Uh, I'm the new honey boo boo of auditing. <laughs> and I told my fiance, and he just started busting out laughing. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. That's not cool. I'm not the honey boo boo of auditing, dude. I'm not trailer trash. Come on. Why am I being charged with it? I'm not Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new fraud auditor that just hit the streets, and his name is Mr. Transparency Audits Illinois. And these, this guy, I don't know if he's a relative or a friend of Rockford Metro Press. Well, I guess he goes to the RMTD, the bus terminal, to fraud at them, and things don't turn out as happy as uh, he wants it to be. Now he's going to file a federal lawsuit against them which I, I laugh because there's no civil rights violated. So let's sit back, relax, and have a great laugh at these fools' expense. Enjoy. 0880, thank you for being professional. Name and badge number, sir? Okay. It's Officer Lenz, 2211, okay, bud? 2211? That's the number for the state's attorney's office. If you have an okay. issue with how they're, they're handling things, they're, you can talk well, to them. It's a violation. Like I said, they have this all worked out with the SA's office. And okay. So we're directed from the SA's office to do things how they operate. If there's an issue with it and the state's attorney's office needs to address it, go to them and be like, you know, you know verify with them. Like, I, I'm videotaping inside the transit center, right? And that's your First Amendment right, as you say. Like, what can we do where they don't have to, like, start banning people? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's, that's Trump in the Constitution, bro. Why do dregs of society, criminals, sex offenders, pedophiles... These druggies, and I'm not calling these people that. I'm just saying frauders in general. Why do why do they think that they have to teach us, the American people, our rights? Who's going to listen to a pedophile? Who's going to listen to a thief? Who's going to listen to a drug addict? Nobody. And look at this. The purpose of my channel is for educational purposes only. No, it's not. It's just to go around filming and harassing people. And in all seriousness... Do you guys really want to get educated by two people like that? I mean, come on, do you? They look like they could be part of the Whitaker family. No, and I, and I'm not, I'm not Policy saying, doesn't I'm trust not the Constitution. I agree or disagree with you, okay? I, I understand where you're coming from, and I understand, and like I said, you're not in there recording people's personal information. You're exactly, that's not what do, I'm here you know for. What I'm My, the issue that we have is that we have it down from the SA's office down to them, that when you get these little ban notifications, and you come back on property, they're going to detain you again, then they're going to call us again, and then it's going to be considered... No, it's not, it's not going to happen again. Now, I can't remember where I saw this guy's picture from, but I think he's a relative of either uh, Rock for Metro Press or Crooked Tooth Media. Because you know what they say, a family that commits crimes together stays together. Trust me. But I would get in contact with the state attorney's office. I, I'm going, going to. All right, man. Uh, can I get y'all's cards? I don't have a card on me. Uh, I think I have a card. I, I met you before. You know who I am. Yeah, I know who you are. Name and badge number again, sir, just for uh, uh, documentation. Dennis, <laughs> 1955. Thank you for being professional, sir. Hey, guys, I don't... Here's my thing, okay? I'm a journalist. <laughs> and I'm a constitutionalist. And I have a big passion for the Constitution, bro. If you really did, and you were truthful about that, why are you posting these videos on YouTube? You wouldn't be doing it for YouTube fame, would you? Because if you had a true passion like you just claimed, why would you be posting this all over YouTube? That's right, clicks and views. A big passion. I've been in law enforcement for 15 years. I was an FR agent for 15 years and a security supervisor for 15 years. I was in charge of 100 officers, bro. That's why I'm trying to tell him. He down here trumping me. Policy doesn't trump constitution doesn't trump the constitution, bro. You know that. And the only thing with them is that since they are private security, <coughs> all they go on is They're, them being private doesn't have anything to do with this public property. When they took on this position here, they took on the position and, as an employee and, of the government. And that might be something that we need to take up with then with isn't it amazing that the drag society know more about the legal system than the judges, the lawyers, and the police? I guess that's sort of true because 
they're always going through the legal system by getting arrested so much. Let's take a look at Rock from Metro Press, how he claims he has a protective order against the RMTD, even though it's the other way around. They have it against him. And he claims that he was texting the judge and the judge was texting him back. Which I don't think that's what ever happened. Well, I'm going I'm, I'm to make a change. I'm, I'm going to discuss it. I'm going to have a meeting you know with him. I'm going to discuss it. That's something that needs to be taken up with RMTD as a whole and change that. Hey, my man, you going to be professional and give me your name and badge number, bro? I would have really appreciate that if you could give me your name and badge number, man, for real. Just be professional. So you're not. See, see what I'm saying? Yeah, tyrant. Yeah, tyrant, man. I'm not for tyrants. So. That's another thing I always find amazing. If you do not comply with the demands of a frauditor, you're automatically de declared a tyrant, a bad person. Uh, we want you to call flood this person, email their bosses, harass them, make them quit or make them get fired. The same old BS every time. They should do compared to what they have to do. And but here's my thing. He should be cooperative with you. Here's my thing. What do you care about? What they think, their feeling, you're not feelings enforcement. No. You're law enforcement, right? Right. right. They're, they're, you're acting on their feelings, what they feel about, bro. That's not how this works around here, bro. And like I said, that's, this is something that we... That's a big... See, he think he big. He think he's something big. I'm about to... He about to lose his job. All right, good people. Time to place a bet. What do you think is going to happen? The officer is going to get fired or the officer is going to go back, talk to the sergeant. They're going to laugh over the video and the complaint and they're going to have a good time about it. What do you think is going to happen? I think the second one because I bet you could probably count on one hand... How many times a frauder or got an officer fired? I'm going to make sure he loses his job. That we have to take up with RMTD and the state attorney's office as a whole so we can decide what's the best action going forward or we can we can do this the right way. Okay, so him knocking my phone out of my, slapping my phone out of my hand over there, knocking it to the ground, he he, could, he was able to legally, for no reason, I didn't do nothing. He walked up to me, approached me and knocked my phone. I got witnesses over there and knocked my phone on the ground out of my hand. Right. And then they just start. They just came up and grabbed me for no reason, bro. Well, like, and like I said, that's so they they don't operate as you said. They're, they're private security. Why do frauditors think that a camera or a tripod is an extension of their body? No, it's not. But you know what? You get the right person, they'll definitely make an extension of your body, and they'll put it where the sun don't shine. Right, or whatever they do, they're employed. Cause they're not government employees. They are. When they took on this job, they may be a private eight dude. I know they're, what I'm talking. Their company's a private entity. Right, That's but I mean. when they when they took on this position here, they, they are now the public, public servants. Public. Right. They are public servants. But they still operate under different rules than we do. No, that, that, none of their not rules. Saying, not saying they should. I'm saying that they none of do. their rules trump the constant. Nobody's rules trumps the Constitution, no, bro. I, like I said, I, I don't disagree with you. I, I'm just saying that we've had this So, so why did you let them do that to me then in there, man? You should have let y'all, it was y'all's responsibility to let me say, hey, you can't be messing with him. He's on public property. He's able to record anything he sees with his eyes from public and there's nothing we can do about it. You can't turn a First Amendment protection uh, activity into a crime, bro. Really, you can't? How about, you know what, why don't you go film a public bathroom with kids there and see what happens? Because we all know frauditors love to film kids. No, I'm not, and I'm not saying that, that that's, what's, that's what's going on. What I'm saying is... is it, that is what's we, going on. They, so obviously they're, they're metro enforcement. They're down here, right? We're the police. I'm going to tell you what they're mad about. I'm not trying to cut you off, but I'm going to tell you what they're mad I'm about. Trying to explain where they're I'm mad going. because I'm head them on camera and not, not used to a person like me with an education standing up for their rights. Mm. That's what the problem is. They, they've never had this before. It's new. And, and they probably have no idea what's actually going on. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're, they're probably not. The thing with it is, is like we answer to what we can and can't do from the state's attorney's office, right? So this whole thing's been trickled down to the state's attorney's office, which is over us, the police department, to them. And, you know, they were given permission by the state's attorney's office to put these no videography, no photography inside the transit center. I don't understand why anybody in their right mind would want to go to a bus terminal and film the buses. They're stupid. I mean, who, who wants to really see a bus? There's no point to it. You see people getting on, people getting off, the bus pulling away. There you go. You have you have your story. Oh, and look at this picture. Isn't that lovely? They even got mommy involved in committing crimes. They were given permission by someone higher than me that they okay. could do that. So right. I'm going to really seriously right. have a talk with them then because they're violating the Constitution. So that, and that's the thing. Is like now, if they're, they're acknowledging they're that. They're telling them that if you're violating their policies and procedures of this institution here, 
that they can legally this is they, they can legally detain this is you. publicly this is federally funded, bro. City and federally funded, so you cannot do that, man. Well, I, I don't understand, officer. Come on, bro. You took an oath to protect the Constitution, bro. Why did you let them violate me like that, man? Like I said, I, I, we base our jobs off what the state's attorneys office say we can and can't do, and that's that's going by their policies. The time to argue all this nonsense is actually in the courtroom, not taking a camera to a bus terminal to try to prove your point. It's not going to happen. And then you argue it with the security and the police officers. You know what's going to happen? You're going to get placed in handcuffs. It, it's plain and simple. You do not argue your case on the sidewalk. You do not take your case to the court of uh, YouTube opinions. You take it, you get a lawyer, and you take it through the court system. And if the courts find that it is unlawful, well, there you go. The signs get taken away, and you could go film to your heart's content. If they want to detain you so for recording inside the facility, they, they can... No, they can I was recording. outside. And, and I can't record inside, too. There's a reason why there's big glasses, bulletproof glasses, and they're blocking off the, the, the clerks around there and them here. There's a reason why all those chairs have been placed in that building with phone chargers behind them so the public can come in there during public business hours and conduct their business and charge their phones. And, and there's your thing, too, is you brought up another good point. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Sorry, but I have to disagree with you on that one because even though it is a bus terminal, the public goes in and out to do a business. Nobody can just go in and out as they please. Yes, occasionally you may get somebody going and use the bathroom and then they leave. That's fine. They don't care about that. People do that to McDonald's all the time and places like that. But here's the thing. You have to have a legitimate business to be in there. They're not going to just let you sit down and camp in a chair all day charging your phone and doing stuff if you're not going to buy a bus ticket. They don't let them, they don't let people do that. That's wrong. You have to be using That's a violation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to contact the government about this down here and let them know that, hey, those phone charges and stuff that you put down here for access to the public, they are not allowing people to use it. They're kicking people out of the building. So that's what they're doing, literally. You sure about that? Good. That's what they're doing, literally. So I got a case number and stuff on here, bro. Yeah. Because uh, I'll give you those. The, yeah. The, give me the call bro. number. Yeah. yeah. No, and that's the thing. What I'm saying is, they're, they're they, with all the chargers and all the chairs in there. They're saying that the only people There's that can a, use those are the people that are utilizing the bus station services. Public property. Any public citizen is allowed on public property doing public business hours. Well, using your logic, the jail is a public building. Taxpayers pay for it, right? You know what you should do? You should walk right in, help yourself to a jail cell, close the door behind you, and... Uh... Anytime they want to. If I wanted to come down here and stand and record all day, there's nothing they can do about it. I can come down here and record as long as this place is open. Hey, man, I've already been to the city and state buildings around here already. I got videos, bro. Join my... Get on my channel, that's bro. What I'm saying with the situation is they have to... They have to... Them and the state service have to get together and decide what they can and can't do because right now the SA's office is allowing them to have these policies and procedures where they can detain you. If they can put handcuffs on you, then they call us. And, and they can they assault They can assault you, too. They, they, they can grab phones out of your hand. If you're oh, oh, really? You're they can really do that for no record. reason. Well, you're not allowed to be recording. Yeah, but they're not allowed to touch, put their hands on nobody. They, they are they, not allowed to put their hand on no. No, they knocked it out my hand on the ground. Like, no, that's, no, that's assault. It's funny. This guy doesn't even know what assault is. And if you go over to his channel, which is even more hilarious, he has all the videos that he posted. The comments are off. Well, what about transparency? What about your First Amendment right? We can't speak our own opinion. We can't write anything. And look at this. This fool, not the guy you see in the picture, but this is actually a, a picture taken from this idiot's channel. Fourth Amendment violation from a landlord. Well, landlords can't violate your rights. Only the government can. I'm not gonna sit here and argue with you over. Oh it. come on, bro. You know that's assault, I, I, man. Just come on. I'm telling you what we do. If I'd have did that to one of them, bro, you'd have hit me in cuffs, taking me down to uh, the county. Here, you, if you if you have an issue with what's going on here, contact the RMTD. But you guys have hold. jurisdiction, though. You're public. Your public service. You correct. you have power over here, right here. You could have told them, hey, this is a constitutionally protected activity this guy's doing, and he's in public property. He can if, record if, anything from public you said you that he sees. No. 
I, 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 I didn't get inside until they took me inside so here's the thing, in cuffs. Because you're not, in a, you're not, you're not in any sort of trouble. With I, I know, I'm not. I'm not worried about that. But for, they've been given the authority by the uh, higher up okay, the well, that they can ban people from the. Facility. Well, I'm going to put. I'm going to make a change with that, bro. Trust me, I've already made changes if, other if, places if before. You do that, that'll make my job ten times. Easier. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't need to come out here all the time for the same thing over and over. They cannot ban you know people. Yeah, but but you have the right to overpower that, though, bro. You took an oath to protect the Constitution. Wait, Why are you going against it? I've been in battle with the state attorney's office over this for two years. Hey, Frauder, what do you not understand? I understand arguing with this officer is making great content for you. You want to get your subscribers up. You want to be monetized on your channel for clicks and views and all this other nonsense. But here's the thing. This officer's hands are tied. He cannot do anything about it. If the state's attorney's office says you got to do it this way, he has to do it this way. If you don't like that, take it to court. Fight it. Get it changed. The only person that can make the change is a judge, not YouTube Court of Opinions. But did you tell them that, though, that, that, that in a way you don't feel comfortable and doing this because it's... office is telling me that they're able to detain and ban people as they see fit. And then I have to come out for no reason. Them. They can so they can walk up and so and pick thing, out Rando Sally and say, you know what, you banned. Well, here's the thing with just this. like here's that. The thing with this. So this even the sidewalk on this side. That's here. public. Public R property. RMTD, both public both. sidewalk. Public These sidewalk. are all public side. Uh, this is public side because this is public this property. Is, so that makes it a public sidewalk. Going through arbitration right now with the city that they're trying to make this RMTD property the whole block because Dude. RMTD built the sidewalk. Dude. The government paid a part in this. I know what funds and money paid to get this building up. City, city and government funding is the one that built this. So that makes it public accessible to any public of public person, citizen and, in and, this and county. If you can get the state's attorney's office to put that in writing and give it to us. Oh, yeah. That would be. I, I'm finna make a amazing. change with it, bro. You trust would, me on that, that one. That would be perfect. I'm finna make a change on it, bro. I, man, I, so I, much I, trouble. I, I truly hope you do, Lauren. Really, oh, yeah, I am. I really do. I really appreciate it, man. Oh, yeah, he's gonna make big changes to the RMTD, just like this fool you see on the left. Look what this fool on the left did. They actually got the RMTD to put up signs saying, Private property, RMTD property extends to roadway. There you go. There's your big change, frauditors. You're making it harder for everybody else. They put me in cuffs, threw me down to the ground and everything. Snack, knocked my phone out my hand. Yeah, a little bit. And it's because I put they're... Vaseline on them so it keeps his skin. No. They're not used to having nobody stand up to them. That's what it is. He's super sweet. He don't bite or nothing. But, uh, I've had him since he had son of an He might not have his job. I have two-year-old kids holding him. Yeah, he, has, he has no clue who I am, bro. And I'm for you. I'm for. I'm gonna for you all the uh, camera footage from down there, so so it can be seen what happened. Taking it straight to my lawyer. Type in midnight at Mary's place. Midnight at Mary's place. Yeah, you found me, right? Hey, uh, subscribe to my channel too. Uh, uh, I educate the public on their constitutional rights. That's what I do. Why they playing with you? Oh no, they done, bro. You seen uh, Rock for PD game, right? Oh yeah, you finna sue they ass? Yes. Um, Rock oh, for yeah. PD, soon as they money, soon as they got. It's amazing how many frauders claim they know the law. They're very well educated. They know more laws and the legal system than judges, lawyers, and police do. Well, if you do, if you actually do know more than they do, why are you taking it to YouTube for the YouTube court of opinion? Take it to the legal system. Fight it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it was rather long. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, share, and most importantly, helps me out a lot. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Somebody call the police on these. Somebody call the police. He hit me in the nut. See, they don't understand that I'm very well educated. Sir, please. Is there anything I can do, sir? Please. Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging, please, please. I'm closing the door. Please. Not trailer, trash. What are you doing? I'm listening. What are you doing? Camera, what are you doing? Are you doing? Are you putting your hands on this? Is a yep. public sidewalk, bro. Yes, it is. Who are you, bro? Who are you? Mm. Please, please, please. I'm on a public please. sidewalk, no, bro. Not. Yes, I am. I'm on a public sidewalk. Call you're the police. Right. Get your phone out. Call the police. Call the police on this. Hey, hey. This is a sidewalk, bro. Wow. I'm not in jail.
It wasn't me. Pat for that! Pat for that! 